Okay, this video pertains to anybody that's uh, looking at this ad that I got on Craigslist. I made this video specifically for this. Got a four sonar 2.3 four sonar Ranger. Uh, and what I'm doing now, did you hear it? Uh, turn the radio off. Does work. Actually, it's a pretty cool radio, but my main purpose is to show you functionality things, which you can watch this, listen. An original 95 Ford Ranger AC system. Engines had multiple things done to it, nothing to the internals of the engine needed, uh, just average things like your timing belt uh, with tensioner, uh, new water pump, and thermostat housing, as you can see down there, brand new, just installed. Lower radiator hose, newer radiator, battery cable's been replaced. New O2 sensor, it's upstream right down there. You can't really see it in the video, but you'll be able to see it in person. Fresh new coin. I don't know how well it's going to show up in the video, but it's brand new. Thoroughly flushed with distilled water. The next thing is uh, the rear suspension. It's got the most work. Here's the old springs. Uh, they are the two leaf bar. And that was the shackle bracket and hanger. Also, you can't really see if it's underneath the tool box, but there's the front. That, and you can see why I had to replace this because the tanks broke off. All the hangers and everything have been replaced on this truck. It is all brand new. As she just installed about six months ago. I don't drive it, it just sits, unfortunately. Oh yeah, awesome. Exhaust, the flange that usually rots out on these things, has been replaced. Can't really tell in the video too much, but complete new flange, spring bolts and all. Uh, and I do have most of the parts, so you can see what I had to replace. Uh, both sides of the suspension. Of course, completely brand new. Also, e-brake cables, those are brand new. It does have functional e-brakes, e both sides, passenger and driver side, with new brakes underneath your drums, wheel cylinders, hardware adjusters, everything has been replaced. The new leaf springs are now three leaf. The three leaf system is 1,200 pound handling versus the old system, which was two leaf, which is 800 pound handling. Fuel pump has also been replaced. Uh, it's got a Canro 340. Uh, the filler neck tube that goes in here commonly rots out at the top of the tank. That has also been replaced. I've had this whole bed off. I will find a picture of when I actually did the whole fuel system just last year. So I can show you everything entirely. But just not a bad little truck. Rusty but trusty. She runs good. 1995 Ford Ranger with a Cargo Master ladder rack. and an aluminum box. It's not bolted down yet, but I'll be doing that here just after this video. Uh, it's got 193,000 on her and she's running like a beast. Now, as you can see, AC system, functioning great. It's always had great AC in this truck for some odd reason. These lines are freaking ice cold right now off the uh, accumulator dryer. As you can see, frost. And I've gotten a 90 degree temperature outside. I got 46 degrees out the vent after five minutes running with the windows up and my max AC. And it's cold in here. I'll turn this stuff off. Blower also works on all four speeds. New blower resistor just replaced as well. Also, did replace the brushes into the uh, alternator, so it is charging at 14.5.
coolant temperature sending unit also needed to be replaced as well uh, and it was not reading this is the vehicle sitting here now um, gas gauge also didn't work it's the NTA slash module that's up inside the cluster right in this region and you just bypass them and it works I currently only have about maybe three three or four gallons in the tank so that's why it's seeming low but it does work I have had more gas in the gauge work I added up to about a quarter tank so 